Hi everyone and welcome to today's morning report on Tuesday the 23rd of February with me, Rich Perry, market analyst at Handtech Markets. The European trading session has got us to a slightly corrective start um, and that's sort of come with uh, just a little bit of a, a retracement of some of these um, these, pr these rallies on the commodity prices really. You've got oil that's drifted back uh, and also metals prices as well. Um, the oil price falling away sort of uh, just come back a little bit in the last sort of 24 hours. Uh, strong gains we saw yesterday across both uh, Brent crude and WTI um, and also we're seeing uh, the um, metals prices as well just slightly lower so there is this prospect that um, of a recovery in risk anyway generally but uh, just today it's slightly uh, risk adverse, risk off uh, and that is being reflected in the uh, the fact that the yen is stronger and uh, gold prices are also stronger. Interesting that we saw yesterday a sharp recovery actually in um, in the two-year yield and that sort of has come on the back of this um, strong increase in uh, core CPI that we saw on Friday just slightly off the top again today but uh, it certainly looks as though that the um, the recent sort of sell-off that we saw just through January and February is just beginning to turn around isn't it in the two-year and that sort of may um, be again reflective of improved sort of sentiment generally in these markets and uh, improved confidence uh, potentially in the US um, as well so um, that uh, has helped to drive the, the dollar strength that we've seen in the last couple of days as well and the sharp move that uh, we've seen in the euro is a key determinant of that as well that we've uh, we've got in the last couple of days. So um, what have we got to look forward to today? Well, we've got the uh, a little bit of uh, housing data from the states. We've got the Case Shiller Home Prices Index um, at uh, two o'clock, uh, which is expected to come up plus 5.8 percent again uh, in line with last month and then at three o'clock we've got the US consumer confidence at uh, expected to be at 97 so slightly down from last month but uh, still reason I mean you'd still say that that's sort of fairly uh, choppy uh, nothing really uh, in terms of the trend having de been developed over the past 12 months and then a little bit more housing data um, with uh, the uh, existing home sales which increased so strongly um, last month from a uh, very disappointing uh, November reading. Uh, the expectation is for 5.32 uh, I think it is uh, which is around about 2.9% of a, of a decline on uh, last month but still pretty decent number that would be. So um, the uh, chart of the day that I'm going to be looking at is the DAX and the DAX has had this uh, strong recovery. As I said, um, risk appetite has been improving last uh, few weeks, uh, sorry, last couple of weeks. Um, and this has come on this sort of expectation of this uh, OPEC deal, and it's um, helped to drive commodity prices higher and um, generally general risk sentiment, and that is certainly reflective of this improvement in the DAX because you've seen a move above the 76.4% FIB level. That has been such a consistent stopping area on the DAX um, and not only that we saw a breakthrough it last week but yet uh, on Friday last week 93.19 was the low and then we bounced off that so that is that old old uh, level is becoming once again supportive so that is a, a level that we need to watch out for we've got a bit of an uptrend in place here slight correction today nothing too significant yet um, around about 70 80 uh, ticks to the downside um, you are ideally like to see this uptrend hold but uh, to be honest I'm looking out for this 76.4% FIB level being your key level of support 93.08 currently uh, and uh, that is um, still I think uh, your key level of support you need to watch out for so you've got this hourly chart showing your sort of lower um, sort of uh, higher lows and higher highs you've got the momentum indicators which are all looking pretty decent still RSI is still bottoming around 50 at the moment and uh, MACD lines nicely above neutral just this uh, sort of opening just decline today has just seen the uh, momentum okay, just roll over slightly but again could it be ultimately just another chance to buy because it seems to be in the last few days the little corrections have been buying opportunities rather than sort of um, signals for the uh, end of the run higher so it looks like it was still in a positive mindset in the DAX you'd be wanting to um, break out above yesterday's high 95.80 area and then pushing on towards the next FIB level which uh, if I zoom out you can show you here is uh, 
61.8% at 98.97 and that again coincided with a key sort of area of resistance from that January rebound high so that is a big level to watch out for next now around 9600 is a, a level of resistance as well it's a bit of a pivot level sort of 9600 on this chart so we need to watch out for, for that and that was yesterday's pretty much yesterday's high as well so uh, these are all levels that do tend to come back and um, and uh, be key marker points so uh, around that 9600 if you sort of break out above that I think you're going to be moving quite quickly probably towards that 61.8% fib level but uh, it's still looking okay for the DAX this little correction could well now be a nice little buying opportunity certainly if um, risk sentiment continues to improve you'd imagine the DAX will be on the way quite nicely higher so I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later thank you